most thorough wash my vagine has ever seen. Hello, hi, if you're new here, my name's Christiane. Welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. And this is the daily vlog series. And today, this evening, if you didn't already know by the title of this video, I have my first ever cervical screening. Yay! I've been looking forward to this all week. In all seriousness, I've been really bad. I've been putting this off. In the UK, you receive a letter from the NHS when you are 24 and a half years old to be invited in uh, to the doctors to have your cervical screening. And it is so, so, so important that you get it done because in these years of your life, cancer could be developing and you might not even know about it. I've been very bad because I received this letter in April 2018. So I've been putting this off for about a year and a half. I turned 26 in two weeks time. So it's really important that I'm getting this done right now. Now. At least it's better late than never. I managed to book my appointment two weeks ago with my doctors. They could have actually booked me in one week in advance, but I was away. So two weeks in advance, I actually think that's really good considering normally with my doctors, it will take like three months to get any kind of other appointment. So they really are hot on making sure all women come in for their smear tests, which is amazing. But that's not to say that I'm not kind of nervous. I'm not terrified and I feel all right at this point. And I just watched Zoella's live stream of her getting her smear test done. And watching that video has actually made me feel a lot more relaxed and a lot more comfortable with it. But I know when I get into the doctor's room, I'm probably gonna be like, oh my God, because that's just the kind of person I am. Now, apparently, the best thing to wear is a skirt which makes sense because it means you don't have to take off trousers or anything you can literally just lift up your skirt uh, I have a few different maxi skirts to choose from they're some funky colors but I think the one I'm just gonna go for is the black one it's the most subtle why am I thinking about this so much this is utterly ridiculous I am being ridiculous <laughs> like it's just a nurse she probably sees a million vaginas a day but I don't know why I'm just looking into it so much I'm thinking is she gonna know what I had for dinner last night is she gonna know my star sign like what information is she gonna know about me from looking into my cervix I feel like suddenly all my secrets are about to be revealed to this one person who I don't know <sighs> I'm gonna wear the black skirt Maybe I should go to cervical screenings more often. I look classy. I never look this classy. Look at me with my long skirt. I actually really like this skirt. I never wear it and it's really comfy as well. Well, there you go. Who knew I would have figured out a new outfit that I have in my wardrobe today? Look at this fancy lady. Oh my goodness, who even are you? If all goes well, I will treat myself to a takeaway this evening. Um, and if it doesn't go well, then I'm still treating myself to a takeaway this evening. I'm gonna ask the nurse if she doesn't mind me filming in there. Like, I, like if I can just set up my little DJI pocket in the corner. Obviously not with any intimate parts shown, but just so I can show you guys what the experience is like for me from my perspective. Um, but we'll see, she may not want there to be a camera, but. Alrighty ho, let's go to the doctors. Hi, please can I place an order for a collection? Can I please get a chicken makani and a plain naan? Okay, thank you. Bye. Chicken makani is basically like a fancier way of saying but a chicken. If you can't tell by the fact that I um, am back in my car and I've just ordered my Indian, I'm done. I obviously, uh, I didn't bring my camera in in the end, or at least like, I don't know, I felt a bit weird. I, I didn't want to ask her to turn it on, but she was so nice, the nurse. And she explained to me beforehand everything that was going on. I, I told her that I'd watched a YouTube video, so I like had somewhat a clue of it. She just asked me about my sexual history because that decided which thing she was gonna shove up there. But honestly, it took 20 seconds max, maybe even 15 seconds. And I'll be honest, I felt um, I felt a little bit dizzy when she put it in, but I think that was because she was saying, okay, and now just deep breath, breathe. And I think because I was breathing so deeply, I felt a bit like, oh, I felt a bit, feel a bit woozy. And yeah, there was like slight discomfort, but no pain whatsoever. It just felt a bit like, oh, like a bit weird. Um, but no, she made me feel so comfortable and just so normal. And yeah, that was really, really not as bad. Like, I know everyone told me it wasn't going to be that bad. But you know that you always just have in your mind how 
like how bad it's going to be. You always just think the worst. Well, it wasn't the worst. It was great. And I'm proud of my... <laughs> great is a strong word. It was fine. And I'm proud of myself. And now I'm going to collect my Indian takeaway. <laughs> Yes, lads. She's back home. She's got her butter chicken and she's ready to have dinner. Sometimes I like to be vegetarian or sometimes even vegan. Tonight is not one of those nights. Ah, oh, yay. Successful evening. I'm really proud of myself, but also feeling slightly silly for like how long I've been putting that off because that was such a simple process. The nurse made me feel so comfortable and I, I feel silly for being so nervous but to be fair like that's not a silly thing it's 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 normal to be nervous for such a foreign experience when you've got someone looking into and dealing with bits which you don't normally show the world you know but you guys saw how nervous and uncertain I was before I went in and I hope that if anything this video will encourage um, a few of you if you've been putting it off like I had been for a whole year and a half please just go and make the call book the appointment because it was honestly no stress at all and it's so important I now have to wait two to four weeks for the results but whatever happens now uh, it, it's just great that I will know you know because if something is wrong which we don't know yet I can hopefully catch it early and prevent something bigger from happening. Mm. And treat yourself to an Indian afterwards like me if you want to. I probably look like a right loner right now. And that's because I am. Both my parents are away tonight and I'm actually being the parent. I'm picking my mum up from a night out later. Oh, how the tables have turned. Oh my goodness, I am so full. But that was really, really good. Um, okay, I am now going to, oh, with my water. I am now going to answer some of your questions. If you are new here, my videos are not normally about things like cervical screenings. I make videos on backpacking and travel, uh, solo travel, and all things hostels, and working online, and adventure travel, and lots of stuff like this. And currently in this daily vlog series, I'm doing a little thing called hashtag backpacking Benagony Aunt, where I have been asking you guys to send in your travel dilemmas or questions regarding travel and backpacking that you might want my help with. And I'm answering three a day. So if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you look in the comments and you really like what someone else has put and you definitely want me to answer it, then definitely support that comment so that I can see it. Okay, let's delve into your questions. There hasn't been much time today because I only posted the video today like six hours ago. So we'll see what we've got. Okay. First question is from Vidding, who asks, I know you've done videos on this before, but how do I convince my mum I'm not going to die whilst solo traveling? I did my first four day solo trip this summer to Poland and my mum was freaked out the entire time. It's almost a neighboring country, so I wasn't even going that far. I really want to do a month through Southeast Europe next summer, but my mum isn't that excited about it. Parents are a really tough one to crack, especially parents who haven't traveled that much themselves. And so the thing is, the thought of, you traveling solo to them is just a complete unknown and parents just love to assume the worst. I do still want to make a video with my parents or at least maybe just my mum discussing with her her thoughts on all of my travels because I know she always gets worried and she's not super stoked about it. But the thing is she can see the benefits that travel brings me and she knows that I grow from it so much. So I think the really best thing that you can do is just to educate your parents as best you can on the benefits that you are going to be getting out of this trip and show them things like exactly where you're going, where you're going to be staying, the transport that you're going to be taking and really just try to assure them that traveling wherever you're traveling is literally like traveling in your home country. And it can be so hard. Some parents are just so like, mm, don't want you to do this. If you're over the age of 18, they can't stop you from doing anything. So the best thing you can do is just to educate them, to make them feel as secure as possible. And I got a very similar question from Erin Linnea. Hi again, Erin, uh, who says, I'm almost 19 and I really wanted to go traveling solo, but every time I bring up traveling, for example, to Thailand and in Indonesia or the Philippines, they always think about all the negatives like safety, etc. How do I convince them that it would be safe and may meet new people to travel with? I'm gonna link up here and below a video that I made a couple of years ago with my friend Charles. It's all about how to convince your parents that backpacking is a good idea. I did film it a few years ago, but a lot of the things on it are still really relevant. And it seems like hopefully that video will help a lot of people out. And the final question is from Katia Sandek. 
who says, Christiane, I feel so inspired when watching your daily vlogs. Thank you, Katia. And your dilemma is, I just returned almost two months ago from a seven month solo backpacking adventure in South America. Oh my God, that's what I wanna do. Ending in New York and I'm now living with my parents, figuring out my next move. I'm also feeling a bit frustrated since I'm practically out of money now and trying to find work and thinking about whether or not to start studying in my home country, Denmark, or studying abroad. All I really want to do now is head out again and travel and become my own boss and a digital nomad. Perhaps with video creating slash editing. Traveling is my real passion and I love photography and if I'm honest to myself, I can't really see myself staying in Denmark for too long. Do you have any tips on how to achieve this? I definitely know the feeling, Katya. That is exactly the position that I was in in 2014. I came back from a really long trip and I had no money so I had to work at home but I was like, all I wanna do is travel and I wanna work online this nine to five life ain't for me. And what I did was get a working holiday visa in Australia and New Zealand, which was probably the best thing that I could have done. And that would probably be my best suggestion for you at this point, because it will allow you to travel. And especially in Australia, you can earn a lot of money. So you can work and you can live there, but you can also hit up some amazing spots and really work on your passions with video creating and photography, because there's so much opportunity to do that whilst you're out there. I think that's a really nice compromise where you can travel and have a great time and chase your dreams but you're not running out of money and yes you do do things much slower because obviously you do have to work but it is really exciting just to be working in another country and I think that's going to be it for my questions today really hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow what's happening tomorrow I don't even know but I guess we'll find out then bye